Hi, welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays, and we're going to make the transition now uh, from local traffic manager load balancing algorithms to global traffic manager load balancing algorithms. And you know, uh, a load balancing algorithm is uh, a load balancing algorithm. There, there's no super fancy science between uh, one existing on GTM and one existing on LTM, except they they uh, they fill different purposes. And before we get into the algorithms themselves, I want to discuss a, a little bit about the concepts in in GTM. And so if I have a GTM here and I have uh, my LTM sitting off to the side and then we have the internet and we have a whole bunch of clients sitting out here and these clients, we're talking about local traffic manager, we have virtual servers sitting on LTM and we might have one LTM in a data center, we might have 50 LTMs in a data center, and we might have 15 data centers. And so, from a client perspective, how, how do I get from out here in the internet to one of these virtual servers? And so, that's where GTM comes into play. The clients ask either directly of a GTM, which is less common, uh, but in an enterprise scenario where you want to be able to control topology records or, or, uh, or something, uh, they would uh, query the GTM directly. But more often than not, you have these LDNS servers, and I'm just going to use L for shorthand, these LDNS servers out in, in the internet. And so these clients, they, they have a, a question, where is devcentral.f5.com? And he'll ask his, LT, uh, his LDNS server, and then the LDNS server, if it doesn't have that cache, which which LDNS server in the world would not have Dev Central cached? But I digress. So the LDNS would uh, request of the GTM, and then the GTM is going to, uh, and different from LTM, LTM is going to get that request on the VIP, and it's going to send it back to a pool member, and it's going to, uh, this is an app server, and it's going to handle that traffic. Well, in this case, the GTM is the app server. It's getting the request, and it's going to then respond. Uh, predominantly, there are, there are exceptions to that, but that's the, you know, that's the core of how, how GTM works. It gets a DNS request. It gives a DNS answer. And so what we're going to talk about in this series is, is how GTM comes up with answers. And there's a lot of algorithms uh, with GTM at the pool level. And that's another key concept I want to talk about before we get into the load balancing algorithms. And, and that's the concept of having tiers uh, with uh, the decision making process. GTM has the pool, and at the pool level, there are a bunch of algorithms to make a decision on which pool member gets, uh, the, gets the, uh, uh, the, the request. And, and then but also, GTM has the wide IP level. And at the wide IP level, that's where the first decision is made. And so, a request comes into GTM. Request comes in, and say that's for dc.f5.com. And at the wide IP level, I have three pools configured on my wide IP. And I have a say that's Asia Pacific, this is US, and this is Europe, okay? And I have three different pools, and the wide IP is going to pick a pool, and then from that pool, it's going to come down and pick a pool member. Now, the pool members in GTM, and uh, there are other options, but the pool members in GTM, if you have an LTM solution in your data center, these pool members are going to be virtual servers on your LTMs. And so when the decision is made here for the US, and then it comes down here and picks this pool member in the US pool, then that is the answer that's going to be given, the IP of that, of, of that pool member in GTM, that's the DNS answer that's going to be given for the query dc.f5.com. And so at, at the, uh, or in the next video, we're going to start talking about load balancing algorithms. There are four at the wide IP level. There's a bunch at the pool level. And so stay tuned. We'll get into the algorithms next time.